going to be a huge huge day for our little house we have a bobcat sitting out the front right now because he is going to be completely changing everything prepping everything for concrete this saturday this saturday is happening we are going to have a driveway and a front path which is super exciting this little guy couldn't be happier that there is a bobcat in our front yard it's too bad that he has to go to childcare today hey bud but yeah i cannot believe that Everything is changing and changing so fast. So the plan is that today and tomorrow, I believe they're doing site work. So they're going to be moving dirt out of our front yard and leveling everything and doing all that kind of jazz. And then on Friday, they're gonna come in and, um, what are they doing on Friday? I think they're gonna do all the framework, set up all the framework for the concreting. And then Saturday, we get our driveway, which is exciting. But for now, I need to go to work. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day today. I am so tired. This vlogmas thing is exhausting me. I'm trying so, so hard to upload videos for you guys as often as I can. I'm gonna be working extra days though this month. So if there's a couple of days when I don't upload, then I'm sorry. And my upload schedule is like way off because my uploads have been going up at like midnight. So I apologize if that doesn't suit, but I am trying my best to get as many videos out as I can for you guys. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see. Um, I know a bunch of you want to see me cook a ham, so I'll probably try and do that over the weekend for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm sure the boys will enjoy eating it. Uh, so I'm going to do that one. And hopefully if I have enough energy tonight, or maybe I might do it tomorrow night, I'm going to film a video of what I got Sam for Christmas because I am excited to share with you guys what I got for him this year. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't have many ideas. So let me know what do you guys want to see. I'm going to jump into work now and I will see you guys tonight. Good morning guys. It has been a couple of days since I picked up the camera. It is Saturday. The guys are currently outside concreting right now. I am about to make a big platter, get ready. I'm actually off to work this morning, but let's just take a second to appreciate Elf on the Shelf today. I'm just gonna say this took way longer than I'd like to admit to put together. Did you know how hard it is to make a rocket out of a bottle and alfoil? It is incredibly hard. I wish I never started it. But once I started, I couldn't stop. I started at like 11 o'clock and I finished and got to bed at about half past 12 last night. So, yeah. If you're doing Elf on the Shelf, maybe skip this one. <gasps> you guys, we found Bernard! What's he doing? Flying. He's flying. I can see rocket. a little bit of red. You can see a little bit of red though. Days without water along the sun so grown. We cross over borders to get where we are. And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. Days 
And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you it is eight o'clock in the morning. I am about to leave. Like I said, I've made a platter. And the elf Everything is in the rocket. <laughs> the elf is in the rocket. Everything is situated here. Um, Matt, I think, is going to take over the vlog from here on out until I get home from work today because I wanted to get some footage Mommy, of them doing the acid Mom, washing. Yeah, bub. Tina can open the door. Ooh. That's a good point. We can't open the doors. Well, we're going to have to just make food that we don't need out of that cupboard now, aren't we? Yeah. Mm. Hey, we only can get fruit out of the dead and the out of the dead. Yeah. And days without eating Cause it ain't enough for two And it's all for you It's all for you it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. Don't feel the cold And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you driveway it's actually been quite warm here today it was about 25 ish which isn't that hot but the sun was fairly biting and we're worried that um especially with tomorrow being 38 super hot that the concrete could crack so um we're wetting it down we're gonna wet it down three times tomorrow just because it is so hot outside but you guys these guys did an amazing job. If you're in Adelaide and you're building a house or you want some concreting done, let me know. I will give you their details. They were so amazing. They were just awesome, awesome guys. Young guys starting out their own business. I am so incredibly impressed by their work. It, it looks absolutely amazing. You guys have seen it. Matt showed you while I was at work. So I probably won't show you and bore you again with it. But um, for me, it's very, very exciting. Don't squirt me! Stop standing next to me! This little guy is standing next to me and asking to be squirted and that means I'm gonna get where you guys. Um, oh! This, this, is, this is not gonna end well for me. Let me show you what Matt and his dad worked on today though because they have done the most amazing job at our deck. You guys, it looks phenomenal. The only thing that they have to do now is put timber around the base. They originally bought thin pieces of timber but because of where the path is going to go when we do the back, um, they're going to put some thicker timber. So we're going to just change it over. But this is what the deck looks like as of now. So as you can see, we did the border all the way around it. Oh my gosh, I'm just, you guys, I love it. So the last sort of finishing touches we're going to do is we're going to get some little... I, know, I guess decorative timber, cornice, whatever you want to call it, um, and just put around the base of the poles. And we're also going to put it across all of like where the brickwork meets the deck. But you guys, this is 
so beautiful so yeah i think the plan now is that matt still needs to sand it he needs to put the base around here um and then i believe i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they were talking today matt sad's gonna come out and oil it on friday while sambo's at childcare, so that you know we don't have <laughs> that to worry about um because doing anything with a four-year-old around your house is incredibly hard um and then we'll be able to bring our patio furniture out and enjoy it for the summer months, which I'm very much so looking forward to. I think it came up absolutely spectacular. So watch this space. I can't wait to decorate this for the holidays as well. It's going to be so cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know what our plan is tonight. It is getting a bit late. Sambo and I did have a nap, so Sam's probably not going to go to bed until super late because we didn't wake up until like 6.45. Um, so we might go look at some Christmas lights now, but... I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. So much has happened in the last week and it has completely transformed our house. The front yard, um, they still need to do like where you drive up onto the driveway. That's happening on Monday. So there's still a few more bits and pieces to do, but yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to see it all come together. We still need to do this um, section here in concrete. So the neighbor across the street is actually a concrete and he is going to be doing this section. So we're not gonna do this in exposed aggregate. We're going to do this in just regular concrete exposed. It's very expensive. Um, we wanted to do it for the street because obviously looks better um but yeah you got to draw the line somewhere and plus this is just going to get kids riding bikes on it and dropped and, and whatever so that is the plan hopefully we can get that done in january sometime so it's going to be a couple of week wait obviously with christmas coming up everything's kind of on hold um and we still need to get our air conditioning in and then the last thing that we need to do in the backyard is put some grass out there which is super exciting i just can't believe how much this has all just come together it looks amazing making our christmas memories i've been working so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people pleased.